Everything's fine. Um, now we know where to get it. Oh, those tars. They are not having a good time. Oh, the geyser splatters them. And there's a lot of geysers here, so I guess we're kind of safe. Oh, we are not safe. We are definitely not safe. There's so many tars. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF. Welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. Now, we've kind of got some things going. Um, I keep pressing C to zoom in because I play a lot of Optifine Minecraft, but we've got our bunny slimes over there, colored like bunnies because uh, we combine the cotton slimes with the tabby slimes. Um, we found a hunter plort, so we have honey hunter largos over here. We've got the, uh, the rock angler largos over here, so... Let's do some chores. It's been a long time since we've been able to log into Slime Rancher and do some chores, and I honestly kind of miss it. Now, they've reduced the maximum crop yield, which is good, because I think we just had too many crops before. And this feels a little more balanced. I think they expected you to just shove, like, 50 different Largos into one container. And uh, that's just no good, so. All right, now, I don't even know if there's any bee automation or anything in, in this game either. So, we're just gonna get going. Also, if I yell at you, I apologize. My ears and my nose have been terribly stuffed up uh, for all of this morning. So, one of them looks kind of like angry. I'm gonna put this back on normal speed. Same thing over here. Boy, that one spot right there just launches you up in the air. I'm gonna put these all on normal speed. We'll get some puddle ports going. Um, Cause they're good. Wait, did we lose a puddle slime? Excuse me, where did one of you go? Oh, I sucked him up. Oh, that, all right, sorry about that. Oh, almost lost him. <laughs> imagine, imagine sucking up a puddle slime and not even knowing it. Okay, we will collect these and that's on normal speed, so that's fine. And we'll just get to, uh, they're eating. They're eating after I've already collected their poop. Unacceptable. Nah, that's fine. It's all good. Also, Yoshi, thank you for the lurk. I love this game. It just feels so good. I, I wanted to play it all weekend. Because I was still feeling kind of sick over the weekend. Now I am feeling a lot better. So. Oh, 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 you guys are angry. What's the deal? Is this auto feeder not auto feeding? Come on now. They have no food in there. Alright, let's. Let's feed everybody. Okay, we have seven of them in there. We have seven Largos per container, so... Um, we'll get these sold. Now, it's not their favorite fruit, so the output here is going to be kind of low. Which is I'm kind of bummed about. We gotta find some mint mangoes, so... Today is kind of about, um... Figuring out where things go, you know? And that'll be okay. So, we've got a decent amount of money. I want to go down to the lab first, and I want to check out what things are going to be costing us. Because um, there's some rare resources that we need to collect uh, for the next set of upgrades. I really want that jetpack, because then we can get the mapping data for the other set of areas that we've been uh, discovering. Uh, and we don't have enough fruit to bring out and prepare for... What's it called? For any of the Largos. We need to find another Roostro. We need some mango. Oh, thank you for the Prime sub. Awesome. Yeah, and thank you for looking Pink Ninja as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking for... We gotta go to the lab first, which... There's probably a closer entrance, but all I know is this back one. I love that we have 150 energy now, which is amazing. I'm a little bit sad that these guys are so hungry, uh, but I just don't have enough food growing to uh, sustain them. Resource Harvester, we're done. Just forever. We're just done with that. Um, water Collector, we can get soon. Although I didn't use it that much, so it's not a huge deal. <clears throat> okay. The extra vac tank is going to be amazing. So if we find Silky Sand, then we'll keep our eye out for that. And we're already generating rock plorts. Tank Booster, we haven't found the next upgrade yet. Radiant Ore is what we need for the jetpack. So let's kind of keep our eye out for Radiant Ore now that we have the resource collector. We already have the Phosphor Plorts all set up. We also need Boom Plorts. 
So I think I'm gonna go to one of the new areas and see if we can find radiant ore and boom slimes. And if we do find one, then we'll take it back and we'll unlock one of the extra areas in our little farm area here. And we'll get that going, so. Okay, and we do have a home portal that we could craft. Um, we don't have enough deep brine. Uh, and then the decorations, maybe we'll get to the decorations towards the end of this playthrough. Um, so yeah, let's go back up to the surface. Let's, what's in this one? Oh, another area up to the surface. Oh, just a little, little alcove over here. Okay. Okay. I like this little, uh, cleft in the rock sitting area with a couple of couches. It's cute. We don't have anyone to sit there with us, but it's cute. So, well, now you guys have way too many berries. Those auto feeders, man, they are just not all they're cracked up to be. Okay, we don't have any new calls coming in. I think we did the calls towards the end of the last stream, so that totally makes sense. I figured out how to get my mic on the camera, by the way. I know it's slowly been creeping into the frame over the past few streams. Now, we gotta go all the way straight to the end over here. And I think probably two full run bars are gonna get us there. Um, yes, we gotta go all the way around. I'm not picking up anything because I wanna save all four of my tank slots for the next day. There's a rooster though. It's just gonna get eaten before we get back here, so you know what? There's we might as well grab these ports because there's a refinery link right here, so might as well throw them in there. Okay, wow, three full run bars is what it's gonna take to get us all the way over here. And we'll probably be all recharged by the time we teleport over to the next zone. Ah, feeling good. Feeling good. I just I just love slime rancher so much. Kind of feels that that nice feeling when you get when you come home. That's that's the feeling I get when I jump back into Slime Ranch. Now you are a phosphor slime, but it's daytime. So how are you alive? Huh? I don't know that I went over this way. So let me check over here. See if there's any. Maybe there's some secrets off the edge. Nope. We kicked a rock off the edge, which is a little bit terrifying. Let's see about this way, too. I just want to explore a lot. I know we can't get the mapping data without the jetpack, but we can do some exploring. Nope, those, those tree leaves are so thick. There's no way through them. Okay, so let's get some veggies and fruit going. Just in case we might need it. You never know. Oh, don't need this. Oh, I love this little ocean area, too. It looks like we're at the bottom of the sea. Wow, two pogo fruit trees right next to each other. That's interesting. Can we get up there? Uh, oh, there's guys are here. We can definitely get up there. There's a little thing up there, too. I want to see if I can get up that high. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Okay, silky sand. So we can get silky sand here. That's nice. Oh, I love that it rustles. They just put so much detail into this game. Details that I don't know if they were in the first game, but I know they're in this one. Oh, okay, we'll break you on a rock. Fly, chicken fly. All right, what's up here? A secret. Okay. What you got for a secret? Meat slime bait. This special slime bait can be used to harmlessly attract meat-eating slimes. That's interesting. Okay. So we stay up high here. Oh, there's another one of these guys. Those are a really good source of income. Let's stay up high and see if we can find any other secrets being up here. It's kind of hard without the jetpack, so we got to be careful where we jump. But we're doing okay. Now this is looking real oceanic and corally out this way. So, looking good. Okay, we've got some Q-berries. We've got an anemone. I thought maybe it was gonna be a resource. We've got, we can't get over there yet, right? That definitely needs a jetpack. 
Unless we like find a, a, a glitch jump or something, but that's risky. We're not gonna risk a glitch jump. Okay, we've got some more anglers down here. We've got this waterfall is where we found the puddle slimes, I think. But we've definitely been over here before. Oh, but there's a lot of resources here, so let's get these going. We got the silky sand. There's a lot of resources out this way. And they, they do recharge, which is nice. So. Oh, bro, you're hungry. Come here, come here. I stole your carrot. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. What are you? An angler. Star. Didn't see his little uh, angler light. Glow. Oh, there's a secret. Can we walk on this? No, we need to go get the jetpack for that one. A tar? Get out of here, tar. Oh, you guys are so scared. Don't be scared. I got you. It's all good. Oh, secret up here too? Okay, coral columns. That's good. Now, hopefully this isn't a spoiler, but I heard that the jetpack is way better in this game than it was in the last game. Which is why I'm really excited to unlock it. We just haven't unlocked it. Okay, we got a lot of silky sand happening. Which makes sense. So I imagine the other area... Because this every, every new zone that we're in, Ember Valley is kind of divided into like two different zones. Maybe three. Probably three. There's three different cloud sections over it. Yahoo! Why are there so many tars? Oh, 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 that guy got obliterated. No, come here, come here. Get over here. Get out of here. Okay, I'm just running. There's there's way too many tars. These things keep eating too many ports. They're getting greedy. And that's no good. Oh, look at this cave. This is so... What is that? Is that like a wind beam or something? Looks kind of like a wind beam. Oh, come here. I want to get high. The only except... Oh, there's heartbeats up there. <gasps> a bat! A batty slime! We needed those. That's awesome. Okay, and there's another one of these guys. Accessing gg.log. I know I'm on a mission here, but that hasn't changed anything about these geysers. They're still fun as heck. I think I can afford a few minutes for a splash like the old days. That's cute. Wow, look at this zone! Okay, there's mapping data over there. I don't know if I can get to it. Maybe I can kind of cheese it by going up along the canyon wall here. And then dropping down onto it. Oh yeah, totally. There's so many tars though, and I don't have a water spout. Okay, cool. The entrance zone to the Ember Valley. Yeah, there's definitely other stuff that we can get around here. Okay, here's Primordial Oil. Let's get rid of all these carrots. And we're just going to be battling nothing but slimes out here. Which... <gasps> Wait, here's the resource that we needed. Okay. So we know that it's an Ember Valley. We need ten of this, though. Oh, give us three. Gave us two. Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. Um, now we know where to get it. Oh, those tars. They are not having a good time. Oh, the geyser splatters them. And there's a lot of geysers here, so I guess we're kind of safe. Oh, we are not safe. We are definitely not safe. There's so many tars. What in the world? Okay, I'm just looking for resources, guys. I'm not, I'm not here. I got no food. I got resources. That's it. No, run to safety. No, no, no. Get out of here. You're good, man. You're good. I got you. Wow. Okay, now there's dangers here. Oh, oh, booms! Oh man, but we have too many we have too many resources, man. We need bats and booms. We can do batty booms. I don't know if we can touch that lava. You think? Or you think it's a bad idea to touch the magma? Probably a bad idea. You know what, with all these booms around, I'm not gonna risk it, because we have a lot of resources. Um, and we don't have any food to feed them, so probably bad, yeah. Pink Ninja knows what's up. She's a smart cookie. 
Oh, there's more resources over there. If we, if only we had uh, the jetpack. Man, I really need that extra slot too. Yeah, I think back this way is where all the tars are. So I gotta be careful with my health. One tar hit does like 20 damage. So we just gotta, we just gotta kind of watch out. And we gotta save our run for when it'll be really helpful to us. Oh, yeah! Okay, they can't reach us up here. Okay, well, we know where to find at least one of those uh, radiant ore chunks. I was hoping to find a couple more because they tend to show up in batches, you know? And that's definitely what we need. Hey, guys, come on. You're all chill over here. What's what's the deal with the with the punching? I'm not into the punching. Maybe there's more just around that I haven't seen yet. Is that one down there, maybe? Okay, yeah, here's another one. We got four. We need ten. But they're around this, this main area on the Ember Island, so there's got to be more around here that I didn't see. Is there one in this bush? No, that's a, that's a leafy plant. Okay. I done got faked out by a leafy plant. There's this way around here, too. I wonder if we can make it. No, not quite. And then this is the brine and the sand. Okay. Well, we'll have to come back out here. We only have four. It seems like each of those gave us two. Keep your eyes out for one. If you see one, let me know. Okay, only those two, I think. So we'll have to come out here in a series of days because they recharge after a bit. But we also got some of the silky sand that we hadn't gotten before. Um, and we got a bat slime too. Which, let me check the slime slimepedia real quick for that guy. Uh, oh, slime's pink. Favorite food is... I don't even know what that is. Some kind of plum or pomegranate? Diet fruit though, that's good. So, we'll put this guy... We'll unlock one of the new areas and we'll just instantly... Oh. In case we find a rooster on the way back. We'll unlock one of the new areas. Might as well collect these slimes. I mean, the uh, ports. There's so many. Roostro, any roostros here? No, a lot of fruits though. I'll take a lot of fruits. That's, that's good. Because our bat guys eat fruits. So, and we got one of them. All of one! Oh, sorry about that. Oh, I'm even going back the right way, look at that. What do you know? Look at all these. Look at all these plorts. Come here. I need the pogos. Oh, this probably goes back to our thing. Oh, no, it doesn't. This go oh, another treasure. I'll take that. Um, I guess there's only two of these, so I guess it's better to get resources while we're here. There was another one though, right? Like over here? Yep. Resource collection is something that we didn't do in the first series. We did a little bit just to show, we were like, this is how you collect the resources. And now look, we have 999 of everything. Wasn't that convenient. Look at all these plorts. Holy moly. Okay, we're back. Welcome home, everybody. We probably need to feed our, our people. So let's go deposit this, and I'm gonna put the pink slime, pink plorts into the refinery as well, because they're used in some of the resources or some of the recipes that we're gonna need, and that'll give us enough also to 
um, enough inventory space to feed our other slimes. Okay, these guys are all still happy, so we'll see how much they have in their auto feeder, and we might take these downstairs to get some phosphor ports going. If there's enough. Because, man, I just hate that the phosphor slimes are so... Oh no, there's none here. Okay. So we'll need to just keep pumping these in here. Until we get some sort of automation. I don't know if it's going to be the bees again. It looks like there's bee drones the, with the gg.log statements that we've gotten from the mysterious author. I don't know why you're hungry. Because this auto feeder is on normal speed. So... I don't know, maybe just looking at those chickens all the time makes you hungry. These guys, a couple of them look hungry, so I'll feed a couple manually and then I'll fill the feeder. Oh, he's happy. I He was unhappy, so I hit him in the head with a cabbage, and now he's happy. So, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, but we can get some of these going. Now, we need a rock quartz for something, but I'm just going to go ahead and sell all these for now. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just go ahead and sell all these. Um, even the rock quartz, we'll get some income going. We'll unlock some of those other farm areas. I do want to start with... Wow, there's 15 quartz in here. That's nice. Good income. I do want to start with the one that has access to another in it. Because if you look on the map, there's like... This one is one, this one is one, and this one is a double. So I want to see how expensive this is, so... We'll start with that one on the end. Okay... Oh, we we're gonna start with the mushroom one. Hmm. Well, let's see how much money we got. The baddie ones I'm gonna put in the mushroom cave, so we'll definitely unlock that one too. I just want to see how much stuff is going to end up costing in the end. Just, you know, I gotta know. I gotta plan these things out 14 episodes in advance. Otherwise, I feel like a failure. Alright, well, it's this way. You know what, let's sleep till the morning, and then we might be able to farm some more things. That was only three hours till the morning. Definitely a night owl. And I doubt our plants have grown again. Yeah, nah. Okay, so this way is the way. The gully. This expansion of the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass. Only 1800. What is this? Oh. 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 Um, towering rock formations. While slimes enjoy frolicking in the amber fields of grass, hen hens nest in the cliffs, making this a meat lover's paradise. Okay, so maybe we can just have some free roam slimes in the gully. Alright, let's see what we got going on over here. Oh, cool. It's huge. I didn't expect it to be so big. I kind of thought it would be like the the wild one um, in the first Slime Rancher, but everything is just so big in here. Wow. I love this. Oh. This is so nice. I'm just exploring. Okay, once we get the jetpack, there's probably a secret around that bend. Oh, cool! What a view! There's a GG log here. Accessing gg.log. I had the drones rebuild the conservatory exactly as it was before. I was happy to see it standing there again, its glass filtering the beautiful daylight of this magical place. When it was done, for a moment, I almost thought things were back to normal. I thought maybe I would just walk inside and start again like nothing happened. And though I know it's not the case, it was still so nice to finally be home again. Oh, so something happened to the conservatory. To the original owner, but we don't know who that is. I don't... I don't think it's H, but... It'd be cool if it was. Wait, what was that? Hang on, there was a thing up there. I saw something. You gotta go all the way around, though, to get it. No, we can go this way. 
Oh, another drone. Okay, accessing gg.log. I sometimes used to bring my lunch here and stare at the at these colossal fossils, wondering what this world looked like when they were alive. It's a world of slimes now, but who knows what it was before. As it, And if the universe has room for a whole world and its ecosystem changing course, maybe we should accept the same of each other. Geez, talking about the past sure resonates these days. I wonder what profound thoughts I had to share back then. Huh. Yeah, I mean, those are giant fossils. It wouldn't be so much of a stretch to think that slimes were in the fossils. You know, like slimes had shells and things that they like to live in. But, I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so this is 3,500. The Tide Pools, a coastal sanctuary for coral life forms and seaweed. This expansion to the conservatory is guaranteed to fill your shoes with sand. Um, so, yeah. Tall coral reef, respite from the sun, while the shallow pools of water create an oasis for puddle slimes and other aquatic life. And other aquatic life. I wonder if we'll have other kinds of water-based slimes. That would be cool, wouldn't it? So then that's the barrens and coastal life. So we have the mushroom cave. If I go down there, can I get back up? Oh yeah, that's it lets out from the uh, research area. We have the mushroom forest. This must be like an ember or something. The archware, an expansion of the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. So this is like the pla- Wow, those chickens like bum rush that bush. I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk, cause this is really cool. I love this so much. Wow, look how big the areas are. Oh, and there's pogo fruits here, nice. Oh, oh, so there's fruit here. There's a, uh, is that the, that's the aquatic area I think from the other side. Wow. Oh, and there's fruits and veggies here. How nice. Wow, look at the sun's reflection in the water. So cool. It's so cool. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. Boom. All right. I love how they upscale the screenshots, too. I talked about that in the last episode. But when you take screenshots, they take them in 4K. It doesn't matter what resolution you're running at. Unless I'm running at 4K, which would explain the lag in the original. Am I? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm running at 2K. <clears throat> oh, what? What does that go down to? Probably the labs. Okay, and we've got the den. This dark, damp, mushroom-covered expansion to the conservatory is a refuge from the sun for slimes and ranchers alike. Okay, and I'm gonna put my phosphors and bats in here. So I could have phosphor baddies. That would probably be pretty cute. But let's see, I wanna I wanna look more closely at the bat. What's up here? Look at all these mushrooms. Look at all these mushrooms. There's so many. Wow. Anglers would probably look pretty cool in here too, because it's dark. Alright, what's over here? It's like a little secret area. It's a secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. And it just has a view. I wonder if we can fly out to that island and there's something there. <laughs> Thanks, Big Ninja. Alright, I'm gonna put them up here by this light. This is gonna be where they will be. I need high wall. Can I put an air net on a, on a small one? Oh, you can. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll give them room to fly around. It won't be cool. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. Okay, let me go grab some. Well, let me feed him first. Thank you. Thank you for your plort. Okay, I'm gonna go get... Um, I'm gonna get a garden going right here before I run out of money. And I need to purchase the sprinkler so it grows faster. 
And I might as well do the soil as well. Now, I'm not going to grow pogo fruits. Which way is in and which way is out? Okay, the one with the lights on it is the way back. He's cute. He needs a friend. Yeah. I'm going to go grab the phosphors that we have in the basement. And, uh... We're gonna get we're gonna get those going. So we'll have phosphor baddies. And I think that'll look really, really cute. They'll be like little glowing bats. Little glowing vampires. So I need six of you. One, two, three, four. You're stuck. I'll leave you stuck. Five, six. And the other guys are up on desks and things. Okay, cool. Um so Six of those. I need the batty slime. So we're gonna replace this with pogo fruit. Just because these guys need generic fruit. So the pogo fruit will grow there. Still has the sprinkler system in place. And then these guys will get... The phosphor's favorite is the cuberry. So if we combine the baddies and phosphors, and we plant a cuberry tree over here. Um, then they'll be they'll be set up for life. Because it'll be their favorite. Okay, so you guys get in here. Now you're all hungry. I know, I know. So we'll make you big, and then we'll feed you this. And then you'll give us four plorts total. Okay, you'll get big. No, nope. come on, go ahead. Where's this one? Okay. We need this guy to get big. Come here. There you go. Okay. He's already fed. So we need... We'll feed them after they get big. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Eat, eat this. Eat. Eat it. Eat the food. Stop being so stubborn. Just eat. You'll love it, I promise. Okay, we need to get these guys to get big, too. Okay, they're not... They're not... They used to just instantly eat it if you threw it at them, but I guess that's not a thing anymore. Okay, and there's one more for this guy. He looks like he's trying to get it. Oh, okay. Put him back in there, and then we'll, we'll give him that. Alright, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Get big. Yeah. There you go. Oh, look at these guys. Okay, and then we can grab these now. Wow, so we found one hunter slime and one bat slime so far. Interesting. Okay, um, they are so cute. I, I love them so much. Okay, we'll put an auto feeder on that later when we come back here. This is a new... No, we've been down there. This one we haven't been down, though. Oh, we can see the arch from here. We can probably fly over there once we have the jetpack. Heard it's better. Okay, but we gotta, we gotta go, we gotta hustle. We're, we're like two-thirds of the way through this episode already. Okay, hustle time. Let's go. Let's go. Huh, huh. I'd hustle if I had more energy. Or, you know, if I could run more for the energy that we have. We need to put these up here until we get some mint mangoes. We'll have uh, just pogo fruit here. That's fine. Those will grow pogo fruit. We need to grab the heartbeats for our... Rock anglers. This is the only feeder that seems to be keeping up. Yeah, oh, there's a lot of ports here. How many? Wow, you guys have been really converting water to crystal. Good job. Oh, we have a call too, so we'll take the call before we head out. this one keeping up to man this one I don't know what it is about this one and that one they're just going ham okay so we will sell the actually I think we need puddle plorts down in the research station let me see 
Let me see what we need. We need these shoes. We need boom plorts. We need jetpack. We just need radiant ore for the jetpack. It was the water thing, right? That needed putter, puddle plorts. Um, and we'll need that eventually. Maybe it, we'll have it to deal with slimes. I think we only needed 10, though. Yeah, and then we'll need some angler plorts down there eventually. But we have a lot of angler plort income. We're close to the pulse wave as well. Which we could use instead of the water, but I think the water is fine for that. Um, batty plorts. So we have what we need. We just need more primordial oil. And cotton and batty plorts, which we have. Okay, so boom plorts we're prioritizing and radiant ore. And we know where to get both of those things. So we'll go sell the rest of this because we need some new bucks as well. And then we'll make a, uh, a trip to each of these things and sell these. And that should bring us back up. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. How you guys doing? You guys doing okay? Oh, he's dazed and confused. He's doing okay. He's, he'll be just fine. Alrighty. I want to get some fire plorts too. I want to get all the plorts. Last time we didn't get all the plorts per se. We got most of them. This time, I'd like to get all the plorts. And I'd like to get all of the fruit and veggie trees. And I'd like to have a pen of chickens for each of the chicken types, which I think is four now. Because we saw the, the sea hen, which is the seagull. Okay, yeah. Wow, it's not hard to get money. At least for the, the intro ones. Okay, should we go out immediately at nighttime? Might make it, it, it would make it harder to find resources. We'll go to bed, sleep until morning, then we'll take that call. Did our plants grow? They did, so we'll refill our auto feeders. We're not gonna sell the ports, we'll just refill the auto feeders. Because, man, they just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and eat and it never stops. Look at that, even those guys are almost out of food. They eat and eat and it never stops. That is the, the rancher's life. Gotta feed the animals. Okay, these guys are gonna be hungry. Okay, we'll put seven in there, and then we'll put the rest out here. It's great. Okay, now that those ports aren't going to just evaporate, we'll grab this call, and then we'll head on out from Mochi Miles. Hey, be those drones you've been finding all over the island? There's something weird about them. Hey, I got eyes in the sky, and I'm going to use them. I'm also readying a team of drones to head over there and check things out in a more hands-on fashion, but I digress. Anyway, the drones seem super advanced, like almost alien, and so I thought, okay, there's some aliens out there checking out Rainbow Island just like you. But no, I don't think so, because it looks a lot like the drones we use, but so much more familiar to me, almost like it's giving me deja vu. Kind of creepy. Hey, don't be scared. It's probably just aliens. Giant three-headed aliens with huge claws that are looking for humans to capture or eat or both. <laughs> Later, B. What if it's Mochi Miles from the future? What if there's some time travel going on here? What if, what if Victor Humphrey and uh, Mochi Miles got together in the future to create drones on this whole island and then they left clues for themselves in the past through me? I bet there's a secret up there, too, once we get that jetpack going. Okay, we're going out for some resources. We're going out for some boom slimes. And we're going out for some... Okay, I don't need the, I don't need the jellystone. Oh, you know what? I should take it because there's a refinery thing right there. Now we're using our heads. Look at that. Look at that. That was a five-head strategy. 200 IQ play. Oh, we need a rooster too. 
because our one Rustro did not produce any male offspring before he grew old and died. Not sad, he's just a, a Rustro. Don't worry about it. There's a lot of hen hens around here, too. Okay, we're looking for those uh, thingamajigs. Those, those crystal-y looking things. Are they back up yet? Wasn't there one here? Maybe they're not. They haven't respawned yet. Really gotta get those farming though. Oh, I didn't feed our bats. And I forgot that they existed. It's okay. What? What? Where did those tars come from? Where are they going? Go to the other side of the world. Oh, actually, that's where I'm headed. Derp. I am not a smart man. No, it was over here somewhere, right? It was like... Oh, hi. I saw that lucky slime, but I figured it would be better to deal with the tars first anyways. I'm just gonna take you. I'll throw you at the at the boom slimes if I need to. Yeah, he got the bad end of that deal. Oh, there's a drone here that's lit up. Interesting. Accessing, accessing gg.log. I know I'm on a mission here, but that hasn't changed anything about these guys. Is there? Okay, wait, why are you still lit up? All the other ones stopped being lit up. Oh, there's another one there. Can I get up there? Oh, it was close. I can definitely do it. I just need a running start. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There's got to be a better way to get up there. But, nah. I, I'm too small brained to figure that out. We're just going to go from this edge right here. Ready? Huh. Let's go. Still just two. Okay, I need to find two more of those. And then we're set. Was there one down there? Maybe there's one up there if I can if I can jump my way up to the top of this thing. I need I need a jetpack to be able to get the resources for making a jetpack. Isn't that how it always goes? Okay, maybe there's maybe there's something over in this lava e zone. Um, you know what, I am gonna- Ooh, wait, we can go this way. Maybe this is where the baddies are. <gasps> yes, more radiant ore. You're kidding me? I'm one short now? We could have been getting two or three from them this whole time, and I was just unlucky? Ugh, oh, unlucky. Oh, more baddies! Oh, and booms! And crystals! Oh, you know we're taking some, some of you guys. Well, actually, what do the crystal slimes eat? Diet veggie. They like oka okas, right? That's probably what grows here. Let me see. Um, slimes. Because I can do crystal booms. Diet briar hens. And... Did I miss it? I must have missed the crystal one. Oh, you know what? I gotta suck one up first. Okay. We'll just put you there. Okay, there we go. F1. Favorite is- oh, odd onions. That's gonna be a hard one to feed. It's fine, though. We'll come back here on our way out. So that we can get a, uh, an odd onion owl. Oh, look at these guys! They look so cute! Boom crystal logos. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get a bunch of those guys together. You know we're gonna get a bunch of those guys together, because they look adorable. And the booms look so much better in Slime Rancher 2 than they did in Slime Rancher 1. That's that's lava. Okay, let's not let's not go into lava. Lava dust, okay. That seems like a rare resource. We got three of those. Can we get three of the ones that we needed? No. I think it's safe to walk on the magma. I think it's not safe to walk on the lava. <gasps> A giant bat. 
Oh, what? Oh, wait a minute. What are you? Um, we need all the stuff, so let's not harvest that one right now. There's one more radiant ore spot. There's gotta be. I don't know if it's in here. We can't get up there yet. Break this. No radiant ore, though. No radiant ore over here. Oh, there's a GG log. Hopefully we can access it. Okay. I feel at home here. When I traveled across the glass desert, it was caves just like this one. They gave me shelter and allowed me to survive my trek. Just feeling walls around me and solid ground beneath my feet gave me all the security I needed to close my eyes and make it through another night. But I can do without some of it. Like, if I ever get... If I ever even smell roasted cactus again, I'm pretty sure I'd barf. This has got to be from H. Wow, I love that. Is that odd onion gonna grow? I am in, like, serious danger here. I only have 100 HP. So, let's get out of here. Let's head back home. You know what? There's no, um... There's no teleporters back home in this zone so far. Okay, need the jetpack for that. Oh, there was there was one there. We already harvested it. That was the one that gave us three. So I'm really appreciative of that. There were none that way. There's the primordial oil there. There, right? But I think, there it is. I was like, there's one more. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a jetpack. Look at that. We finished, well, not yet, but we're, we're gonna finish what we set out to do. That's a, that's a wonderful thing. Well, that fifth, that fifth slot would be uh, really nice to have. Was it the sand for the fifth slot that we needed? Is this the right way? Yeah, that's the right way. I mean, we can go get more sand. We know where it is. And then the honey is on the other side. It's not on the Ember Island side. It's on the, um, what's the other zone called? The Ember Valley and the, it won't tell us because we're not there. We have four of 24 maps. This game's going to be huge. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Oh, the, the, the original part is already so good. Okay, so let's put these things in that refinery link up there. Before I, you know, accidentally fall in the lake and lose it and get really upset. And then the boom crystals will get going back home, but we need some veggies for them. So let me just grab a, a carrot. <laughs> That's all you need, a carrot. No big deal. And I want to put these in the cave as well. They glowed really nicely. Um, but primarily I want them in the cave so that we don't forget about the bats. Because then we'll have two Largo zones in the cave. And it just, it's convenient. I think eventually we'll put slimes where we want them. Right now, I want to put them where it's convenient for us. Cause man, it it is it is hurting it is hurting my soul to only be playing like an hour of this every day. How much money do we have? Enough to make a yeah, enough to make a container and a garden. It's not hurting my soul to play an hour a day. I'm just really excited about the game, and honestly, I'm glad to only play an hour a day because it makes it um, makes it a little better. Like it stretches it out. Because otherwise I would have finished the entire thing day one and then been like, wow, I'm ready for more content already. Okay, let's grab the sprinkler and then let's grab this. We'll need the... Oh, and I... We'll need the corral. We'll need high walls. We'll need an air net. We'll need port collector because this is going to be really dangerous. And we'll do an auto feeder and then we'll put an auto feeder on the back container because we've got all these. Oh, they're hungry. They are so hungry. Oh my goodness, look how many Q berries there are. Okay, well you guys get a lot of Q berries right now. Have 10, have 14. And then I'm gonna put an auto feeder on you. How much is the port collector? 500? Okay, we'll have enough at the end. But right now, the feeding is more important. 
I can collect these ports manually after I put the booms away. I know you guys are gonna be hungry, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, we got some crystal booms. Those will grow. Let's grab all these plorts before we get out of here. The booms like chickens as well, so I can come feed them some chickens if we don't have all these all these feathers. Oh my goodness, look how many there are. Look at all these chickens. Holy moly. Okay, I'm actually gonna go straight to the refinery and see what we need for the jetpack first before I do anything else. Okay, they're all happy, so I'll put the rest of these in the feeder. Around 20 is about as many as we've gotten in an auto feeder so far. Okay, they're gonna be hungry, so I'll come back here with some chickens. Oh, we have so many ports to sell. Okay, let me go straight down here and see what we need for the jetpack, because that is a necessity. Oh, you guys escaped from your places you were stuck, so... What's up, Zypher? You've been summoned, no one's watching? Uh, we got some people lurking here, so... People just lurking. Oh, we need new bucks for it, okay. Then we don't need these bad ports right now. But we will sell them, because... Whoa, that's super loud. That was so loud. Not your fault, it was my fault. I'm sorry for uh, blasting all your eardrums out with that one. Okay. Jetpack time. Jetpack time! I wonder why it costs 420 points. Hmm, wonder why. Is it, does it work the same way you think? I'm gonna get full energy. I'm gonna go outside. There might be another upgrade to that one. Cause there's like two. This one's a single upgrade, single upgrade, single upgrade. This one looks like there might be another one. You know? Um, I might as well get more life. That's fine. Um, oh, hunter plots for the tank guard. Well, I don't really need that. I don't really need it. Oh, I need boom plorts. Okay, and I'll come back here for the for the boots too, because that's huge. All right, here we go. Would like to give a demonstration on why it costs 420. Oh, it's so much better than the original game. It's so fast. It still has that height restriction, which is a bummer, but man, it's so fast. Look how bright it is in here now. I don't know that I've been here in the middle of the night. It's so bright. We'll need these eventually, but we need more mint mangoes too. So, next stream, tomorrow, we'll have to get some mint mangoes. Uh, oh, would, would I like to give a demonstration? No, I, I do not, in fact, partake in the Blazik culture. Other than by putting the, the Thug Life and Snoop Dogg on my channel. Because I think that's fun. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm definitely coming at it from the, the side of, like, 420's a meme. Not from the side of, like, oh, 420, time to light it up, because I do not light it up. I I am not lit, bruh. That's... That's my sick brain taking over. What's up, little Ivy Kitty? I was wondering if you were going to make it to this stream. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. I love that it looks. I am not lit, bro. ASDF 2022. Oh man, I'm not feeling very lit right now. That's for sure. That's okay. I don't have to feel lit. Not enough drugs. I know. Well, I'm on. I'm on Advil and um, Tylenol. Uh, for the feels, and then I took a Mucinex because I'm all stuffed up. And I'm not sure if I took a Sudafed. I really need Sudafed, but I don't remember if I took one or not, and they're 12 hours, so I can't double dose on that one. I'd just, I'd die. Or something like that. 
So I'm waiting until the night to take another Sudafed. Oh. Too many cotton ports. Yes, I know we need more in the refinery, but we don't need it right now. It's fine. I know, I'm so stuffy. I don't remember about the Sudafed. I'm pretty sure I didn't take one this morning because I'm still stuffy. Like, my ears are stuffy, too. My ears and my nose. So stuffy. I can't really hear. Which is why if I'm yelling, then, I, you know, I apologize. I'm not peeking the mic because I hear that, but it's up there. And I got that, like, L70-something compressor. I'm, I'm emulating one through the OBS compressor settings. OBS's audio filters are so good, by the way. Because I started mixing using Logic, and we're, we bought, like, professional-grade audio filters, and... Man, the OBS noise suppression is just next level. And I know that they're adding support for NVIDIA's noise suppression soon. In, I think, 28, or one of the versions of 28 is supposed to support it natively. Thank you for the Pet the Cats, I will do that on the way out. Do need to go bring some chickens to the boom ports, though. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are seven. Oh, the elder roostro. It says he shakes his tail feathers and no one cares. That's so sad. Okay, we have enough new bucks to max these things out. So this is the auto feeder. But first, a message from our sponsors. Raid Shadow. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I don't play it. If I played it, I'd probably, um, I'd probably sign up for a sponsorship. And I say that because that is honestly how you get sponsored by them. They don't reach out to you. They just have these campaigns going out there. Um, I played Raid Shadow Legends once. It was enjoyable, um, but I was really playing it to get rewards in a different video game. So. Um, you got a piece of wood or bark in your adult Lunchable? What? That's crazy. It gets boring fast. Yeah, that's kind of, I mean, it's a gotcha. So if you're not into gotchas, um, or if you're into the more, like, serious story-based gotchas, then, or the serious gameplay-based gotchas, then it's just not going to be for you. But I think it's enjoyable for people that just like game communities like that. So, you know, I'd, I'd recommend it. At least all the food is individually packaged. Dude, I have not had a Lunchable in such a long time. I didn't even know they made adult Lunchables. Wait, what even is an adult Lunchable? I, I assume it's some kind of, like, individually packaged lunch. Lunch lunch in a sealed container kind of thing. Is it, like, just bigger portions of the same ones for the kids, though? Is it, like, a charcuterie? Charcuterie board? Because, man, I'm into charcuterie. It was still weird. It, dude, that's so weird. Finding a piece of bark in your in your lunchable. Like what in the world? Who just who just has bark in their lunchable? Charcuterie board? Yeah, it's like a. Uh, well, you spelled it right, so I feel like uh, you know what it is. But uh, it's like um, meats and cheeses and crackers and fruits and nuts. Sometimes, well, not a lot of cheese. It's like fruits and nuts and uh, cured meats on a board laid out nicely. Really great for parties and hors d'oeuvres and appetizers. A lot of uh, gastropubs will stock it as a as an appetizer plate. But I do love me some charcuterie. It's a French term. Which I think the charcuterie is the butcher. Could be wrong. Um, but which makes sense as to why a charcuterie board would be a butcher board. All right, we'll get the puddle plorts over here. Oh wait, I sold the boom plorts. Dang it, we needed those. Oh. Okay, we'll sleep till morning. We'll go out and see if we have 10 of them. We could sleep until morning again. Actually, you know what, we'll do that tomorrow because we're not gonna be doing any running for the rest of the stream anyways. So that does it for 
today. Thank you all for being here. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe and comment down below. What slimes do you think we're going to discover next? And as always, hopefully you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.